Francisco, are you ready? Let's go! But Mama, why do we have to move to California? Francisco, once we cross to California, we would have a good life. Papa will make money and we will have a nice house with electricity and running water. Trust me, we will have a good life. I never really knew exactly what California was like, but Papa's eyes always seemed to sparkle whenever he talked about it. According to Papa, this was La Frontera, and just across the fence is California, that famous place I've always heard about. We walked along the fence, spotted a small hole under it, and crawled through like snakes. We met one of Papa's friends on the other side. He had called her when we were still in Mexicali. She took us to a labor camp where we could find work. Papa paid her a few bills and it was all the money we had left. We eventually found work at a place that we called Tent City. Everyone called it Tent City, although it was neither a city nor a town. It was a farm worker labor camp owned by Shelby Cotton Farms. Roberto, Papa, and I would pick cotton for three cents a pound while your Mama would take care of my little brother and cook for us while we work. I started school a couple months later. It was my first time standing in a room with wooden floors, electric lights, and heaters. Roberto helped me enroll and the principal led me to my class. I was so nervous because I didn't know any English. Um, go ahead and sit over there. This other student should be here in a moment. As I sat down, I noticed a jar on the windowsill across the room. Inside was a caterpillar like the ones I often saw in the field. It was green with black stripes and moved slowly. I got up to get a closer look at the caterpillar. The weather steadily grew colder as the weeks flew by. Miss Scalapino must have seen my discomfort because one day she gave me a jacket from the lost and found. It was a size too big, but I liked it because it covered up my suspenders. Hey, wait a minute. That's my jacket. What are you doing? Give it back. Hey, Francisco, come with me right now. My favorite time in class was art. It was something I understood. I like drawing animals, especially butterflies. A few months ago, I drew a butterfly and Miss Galapino had placed it on her wall. One day, it had disappeared and I don't know what happened to it. Class, I have an announcement. Our school district just held the art contest and we have a winner in this class. Congratulations, Francisco. I didn't understand what she was saying, but it looks like I have won a prize because she gave me back my painting with a silk blue ribbon on it that has a number one on it. Soon after, Papa decided to move from the cotton labor camp to look for work somewhere else. We would move at least three times a year for every season harvesting crops in California. We live in tents, cabins, and even people's garages to find work. Mama gave birth to Torito, my youngest brother, during that time. After five years, we settled at another cotton farm and I could finally go to school again. Miss Lama, the teacher, Today assigned the me a agenda, seat and gave me a book to workbook read. Workbook for pages 125 to 136. Who'd like to read first? How about you, Francisco? Would you like to read? 
I sat there in silence because I didn't understand English. It's okay, Francisco. You can read it another time. Okay. So during lunch, I decided to ask Miss Lemma for help. Miss Lemma? Yes, Francisco. Can, can you help me read? Sure. Sit right down. Every day during lunch, Ms. Lama would help me read and write. I began to understand what my classmates were saying. The words in my books finally had meaning. I started to feel like I belonged for the first time. And make sure to review this page as well. Now, remember what I told you. I before E. Except after C. So, this is wrong? Yes. Francisco? Yes, Miss Lemma? I noticed that you like to draw, judging from the little sketches you make on your homework. I'm sorry. It's all right. I used to study art before I went over to English. Would you like me to give you a few pointers? Yes, please. Thank you. I was so excited for Miss Lemma to teach me how to draw. I ran home to tell Mama and Papa the good news. Mama, Papa! But when I entered the house, I saw our things neatly packed, and Mama told us that we're gonna move in two days. The next day, when I went to school, I was so sad that I can't even say hi to Miss Lemma. That day, the border patrol took me away. I'm looking for Francisco Jimenez. He's coming with me. 